Hello everyone and welcome to ProRPA.com. I'm Vabhav Jain, your admin blogger, and this week we're going to talk about UI element interactions. Okay, so um, specifically we're going to talk about input methods that are provided within UiPath. And uh, there are three core input methods, which are the you know default method, the window messages method, and the simulate method. If you haven't checked out my blog post for this week, where I'm describing all the three input methods in greater detail, I would highly recommend that you go to www.prorpa.com and check that out. Okay, so um, we're gonna showcase a quick example of um, how these three different input methods work. They have their own pros and cons. So, you know, depending on the business problem that you have and uh, the target application that you're gonna interact with, you gotta make your own choice, right? And uh, you can see in this example, we're gonna take a notepad document. We're gonna type something into it. Let's say, hello robo, right? We're gonna minimize that document. And then uh, we are again gonna write um, a message called continued, or could be anything, right? So we have the notepad window here, right? That's where we are gonna write everything. Okay, so let me show you right now um, if you go and check out the properties of each of these activities, uh, neither the send window um, messages nor the simulate one is checked. So that means automatically set, it is set to default, which means it's gonna be a foreground process. That is pretty much the intention for me to use a minimize activity here because you know I want to show you that um, the process can is either gonna be a foreground process or a background process right whether um, the actual pointer is going to move or whether it's just going to be like some sort of interaction between the workflow and the application and everything is going to work at the back end which seems like a uh, intriguing but uh, of course it's going to be much better optimal efficient and and so on okay so the default method is the foreground method um, let's check this out i'm gonna run this here and you see hello robo is written it minimized it again activated the application and wrote down the second message. So it means the application needs to be active to perform any operations on it, right? That's the uh, default method. Let's go and uh, check out the send window messages, which means in here, we will be actually sending um, some messages to the target application and it is gonna interpret those messages and perform the, uh, perform the operations based on those messages, right? This is gonna be a background process, right? It doesn't utilize those, um, you know, the keyboard and the mouse um, uh, drivers that are installed in your operating system. It's gonna directly interact with the application, which is an efficient process, faster, and uh, but but um, the 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 downside is that you know there are there's a possibility that you know the the message that you're sending might not be interpreted correctly by the target application. It might behave a little differently. Right, so um, that's the chance, but um, depends that you know which sort of application you're interacting with, how compatible it is with the tool, the UI path that you're using here, the RPA tool, and so on, right? So let's check out if send window messages work or not. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. I'll, I'll show you one more thing, right? We have already discussed about uh, empty field um, but for now, let's let's go and continue with this operation, right? Let's run with window messages. So, hello robo is written and minimize didn't work, right? It says that it, it cannot uh, minimize the application because there is some sort of exception, right? So send, send window messages has been some sort of problem. What we can do is um, we can try and uh, attach the selector if in case you know the selector was an issue which i don't think it is but let's check it out and see right we still have the send window messages option open where we are sending the message to the external application to say that please please minimize our minimize yourself and uh, somehow it's not able to interpret is what it's saying so it's not working okay so um this means that um, in a notepad document or, or external in, in terms of the external application interaction, 
um, the click um, in the click activity is not completely successful with uh, with this notepad document all right fair enough what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out the third one right so in simulate what happens is um, it actually interacts with the target application again but it mimics the whole thing as if like the person was doing it by himself but actually the person is not it's the robot right so you your drivers your OS operating system resources are all free they are not utilized but the target application would feel as if the OS in itself is actually working on 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 it so um, this is the fastest method the fastest input method that is provided within UiPath and um, let's see if it works with notepad or not right I'm gonna run this it says hello robo minimized and closed so did you see my mouse pointer is still over the here right it didn't even move and the application was didn't need to be active it just went in I just opened and it only shows me the second activity which brings me to another major point about simulate input activities or methods and that is that whenever you use a type into activity using a simulate method the previous data gets wiped out which means there's no need for this empty field when you're selecting the simulate type it will automatically be implemented if you remember we used it in our previous tutorials the empty field to you know wipe out the any existing data that we have on that field and and uh, it will be replaced by the current data that we are providing in the activity right so um, what can we do right say in case we want that data to be here right th there's a big chance that you know I want hello robo and continued both so what we have a like a workaround for it that we use a get text activity right so get text activity what it's gonna do is um, it could it could have been anything right so we're gonna just do like this we're gonna see the selectors notepad notepad and title and edit okay so this seems like um, um, the, so we need to always check the selector to see you know if there's some sort of dependency whenever we'll be working or re-executing the program again and um, uh, you know you, you 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 can make an educated guess you gotta play around with the selectors and and sometimes you need to take out a few attributes within those selectors to see it's gonna be an entitled notepad because that's what I'm working on right now it's gonna be a notepad document um, the actual process in the task manager is gonna be notepad.exe and it's the editable field that we're gonna work on that's the element that I chose so it on and all looks good right and in my editable text here okay sorry first in the get text itself I'm gonna create an output because once I get the data I have to store it in a variable so I'm gonna put it as um, get text output something like that and I create a new variable saved it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna okay, that doesn't matter and in here I'm gonna put like this and if you see get text output plus so that's the variable that I used right I have that variable in here get text output right and um, I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna append my message of continued with this activity I'm still gonna keep it as simulate right um, let me see simulate is there this one is also simulate and this one is simulate as well right let's start off the whole process actually it's gonna wipe out automatically so it doesn't matter but let's see because once it runs this type in a notepad in simulate mode then it's gonna wipe out let's try and run this program again right so it wrote down hello robo minimized and opened the doc uh, like finish the workflow let's check out how it looks hello robo continue everything is written that means it got the data from hello robo and appended it with our message 
right? So, um, you know, I, I hope that gives a pretty good overview that, you know, um, um, that which all in input methods actually um, support the background processing, which all supports only foreground processing. And um, the empty field parameter needs to be um, needs to be checked or unchecked in um, the first two input methods, which is the default one and the send window messages one. But for the, um, you know, uh, for the simulate one, you have it automatically activated. So to deactivate, you have to use the get text or, or some sort of other activity to, to pull the data. Or you have to be, you know, um, cautious of the fact that, you know, the data would be wiped out. Okay. Um, all right, this pretty much concludes this week's tutorial. Um, next week, we're going to talk about the, the same UI element interactions, but from the output perspective, the output methods that are provided uh, within UiPath. And um, there's going to be like a lot of stuff in there as well. There's going to be some uh, image automations, the OCR and, and, um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, some, some scraping and stuff, which is really, really important when you when you're gonna, you know, work either on web applications or sophisticated ERP or, um, you know, uh, on-prem applications that we use or any business corporate use. Perfect. Um, thank you very much. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, ProRPA, and uh, stay tuned to www.prorpa.com and happy automating. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.